Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of our Iron Teeth Faction Hard mode playthrough and as you can see over here we've got a bit of a flooding incident we just have to get another levy in place uh, come on builders let's prioritize that uh, yeah that is the highest priority oh okay that is not good I think well yeah since we don't have any builders right now that means we can't complete that corner there and this means we're gonna have to hmm yeah we're gonna have to delete a few sections here to rapidly drop the water level water level because if we don't do that and same on this side let's see if that helps we will not get anything built it's still going through there and now I think I think it's slowing down. Okay, that is good. So once this dries up a little bit, we'll get the builders back in the colony. Oh wow, okay. Interesting. I think next we are going to have to have this building, this house built as well. Okay, we just need this area to dry up a little bit. Hmm, you know what? Instead of waiting, let's try this instead. Let's just move it over. We still have access to... Yeah, you do. Okay. And four builders. Once it's done, we're gonna put the district center back. Yeah. That sounds like a more reasonable thing to do. And uh, let's increase the length of the shift as well. So, okay. Quite busy over here, as you can see. In the last episode, we nearly managed to complete the reservoir. Got a couple of uh, extra buildings in place as well. Oh, and the water level is still very low. Water reserves, I mean. Okay, once this... Um Levy is constructed. Let's have you as the next priority. Uh, same in here. And we're gonna need more beavers, so open up them slowly. Let's have a look. Okay, so that is in place. Good. This means we can start constructing this section. Nope, not there. Up here, please. One more time. And I think now is probably a good time to put the district center back where it belongs. And we need four builders. Cool. Uh, they are bringing logs over, so that is good. Any spare beavers? No. Water level. Yeah, we're going to need a um, second one up here. We'll definitely be able to close this up. Well, that's the main goal, and I'm sure we'll be able to close it up. We just lost a little bit of progress due to our miscalculation. We should have built up those levees a little bit sooner, but that is okay. That's how we how we learn and progress. Uh, you make a mistake, you learn from it, and uh, then you hope not to repeat it again. So some spare beavers could be useful. I think the logs are slightly starting to drop, so let's have another one cutting those trees down. Oh, these are all fully grown now as well so what we can do we can plan in let's see maybe where do we need them just temporarily place them there and I think we'll just drop the priority for the time being how far is the house nearly done so that is good and that means we can also unpause the deep water pump over there. That should be the next priority. Okay, yep. The warehouse is being built as well. We got the house. No one needs to live here just yet. We'll have this warehouse and then the water pump will shortly follow up as well. Okay, so because the last one was doing carrots, I believe. In you, we shall have grilled potatoes. And we'll connect you up with a road as well. There we go. So that way, the reason for that really is to keep the food close to the beavers. And when the shift ends, they don't have to go all the way to the other side. They just go into one of those warehouses, grab their favorite piece of food, and they should be good then. Okay, how far is the water? 
Yep, can you have this done as well, please? Ah, oh, cool, they're putting a few more levies in. Okay, okay. And then I would like to prioritize the front, everybody. We've got the ladder now in place as well, so that is good. Then they can access it. Awesome. Okay, things are starting to look a lot more promising, finally. And this side, I think, now is safe to onboard you. And we can also start stocking stocking up some, uh, some logs in here. So let's bring the road. Do you know what? We could even... I guess we could do even like so. It's not a bad idea. Let's not connect you up just yet. And the water level is rising. Good. Just need a few more... Levies and five more dams. Okay. Uh, oh, here's the drought. Okay, you know what, beavers? This is... This is our new high priority. Get this done. Water. Can wait. Oh, I see it. It was missing a few levies there. Yep. Please have these links done. 2.8 days, so that, that should be fine. We'll give you a higher priority as well. And I think we'll unpause you. Okay, water. Yep, we've got enough. These are full. I think you can come out from there. Do you know what? Never mind. If you want to be in there, you can fill up these water tanks. Three more dams and we good. Berries. Oh, I forgot to open them up. Let's try and fix it. Okay, just two more two more dams. Are you yeah, you are able to reach it. So that's good. I think when it comes to logs right now, we're pretty good, so we don't need to overstaff them. We've got a healthy healthy supply here. Yeah. Next step is really to ramp up our uh, beaver numbers. Food wise, potatoes are going a little bit lower, so what we might do. We are going to have to increase our farms. Just thinking what's the best way. I'll, I'll figure something out. We do want to have this whole area covered in farms. Uh, I'd also like to fill up uh, this little pond over there. That looks quite lovely. And okay, so that is in place now. Seems uh, six dams is just enough. So that is good to know. We don't need seven. I guess the next step is to find out if five will be enough to control the flow there. Um, so yeah, that's going to be our way of um, topping up this uh, next section in case we, we have to. Now it seems we can unpause you as well. we got another log pile storage here. And these trees are starting to grow up. I would like to... Uh, fertilize this whole area over here so we got two options really we got um we could put a dam in there and then release the water or just a little bit i'm, I'm thinking a single tile of uh, dam could keep this area full of water also we could leave this barrier in place for the time being but as uh, eventually we will want to have a, a dam in there for the time being i think that will be sufficient for our needs and then um, this here as well. Another thing that I'm still thinking about. Actually, we can pause you now. We've got two up there. And that seems to be more than enough. What I was um, thinking. So, to make this whole area nice and green. Um, the right uh, hand side or the northeast. is. I'm not worried about that. That's pretty simple. We can just have a single tile of dam to fill this up. And same with this side, really. Now, however, if you want to have this side, the north, the north and northwestern side of the map, nice and nice and green, then we're gonna have to bring some water in there. And to be able to have this area green up here, that means the water level will have to be this high. And hmm, I guess there's a couple of ways we could to something extreme and build like um, 
like what we did in Folk Tales, like an aqueduct that goes through the side of the map, which we won't be using anyways. And it could cut through here. And then that way we have options to feed that water in wherever we need. The second option, which I would prefer not to do, is to continue raising the, the side of this river here by using levees. But I sort of like the feel that it's all same level, so... Yeah, I'm gonna have to think about it a little bit, but we're not in a mm, rush for that, so that's okay. I guess that really, really affects our design plans, or design decisions, I mean. Because I do also want to start building industry, and the industry I was thinking is gonna be... If not on the side of, side of the river, then maybe... Maybe down here actually could be a good spot. Because this could be beautiful for water wheels. It's about too wide. I mean, of course we could always widen it even more if we wanted to. So that's an option as well. But that means we are going to need some temporary water wheels here. And to bring power across. So these could be some houses in here along the river. Ooh, a lot of decisions. A lot of decisions to make. But at least our first bigger project is is now almost complete. We've just got a few more levees. And then in the future, because the southern side is a little bit higher, one dial high, higher to be exact, we can slowly start doing the rest of the... What is it? Uh, rest of the reservoir as well. And for that, actually it's not a bad idea to start doing this already since we have so many logs. So I'm just going to bring the stairs up in there. And how many levels is it now? One, two, three. So we could go up another, what is it, three levels and we could still reach the bottom. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Six, yeah. So water bumps will be about this height. So yeah, that's quite a bit to climb for them. But it's still an orange, so I suppose it's okay. Um, yeah, so the next priority will be to start start producing gears. Uh, how many points do we have? We've got 567, so let's unlock it. We could, I suppose, we could make a temporary one, because logs and planks, it's, it's pretty easy to produce. With gears, however, it is, it is not. Uh, power, also, we could, we could do it. the engine. Gives us, oh no, we can't, because we need gears and metal. Ooh, okay, okay. Uh, potatoes are low, carrots are high, so let's change you over to potatoes again. Right. Hmm, <laughs> Well, to... Okay, we're gonna leave this as the marker. Why can't you reach it? Ah, uh, you know what? Let's give you a high priority. And, ooh, almost... Nah, actually, we're pretty good. Let's give you a high, highest priority as well, so we get the corner one done first. And then we can do the last link, which is now, actually. Water situation, just a quick check on resources. Everything seems to be uh, fairly good. Got a spare beaver, so let's put you in the science department. And yeah, okay. Let's just have a look. Those ruins... Yeah, I think these are the ones that will go. So we're going to have to get rid of this metal here. Them ones mm, might leave. I like... Yeah, I do like those. So that's definitely something we'll use in the future. But this is just going to go. Yep, yeah, how far? Okay, this far. Oh, you're not connected. So that's going to be bread, actually. No, wrong way around. None. Allow bread, and now we can connect you up. And that runs perfectly into this here as well. Is it too far still? It is. What about now? Yep, that seems to be better. And what we'll also do, we'll put another two in that location. So that way they can reach this from both sides. Uh, so this is how far they can go. 
Interesting. Oh no, that's because the road is only up, up until there. Okay, that is good to... very good to know. Got four of them here. Let me just pause them. Don't really need those beavers in, but that's, yeah, that's a lot of trees. So I think we don't have to worry about trees for quite some time now. Okay, what we'll do is we are going to put in temporary, uh, temporary, what, what's it called? Production zone here, I guess. Just to start producing some gears and whatnot. Uh, all these resources are renewable, so 13 water here, but yeah, we're, we're not too worried about water right now either. Some power, they should be facing that way. And then lumber mill, lumber mill. And gear shops. Three. Like so. Oh, that's interesting. Why are you spinning? Uh, water is not flowing. That must be a bug. I assume. Or is the water like moving in a circle here or something? I guess. Well, I'm not complaining. That's uh, that's free power for us. So that's uh, yeah, very uh, very happy about that. Now, yeah, once we get some gears in, uh, we'll we'll definitely start putting in some bigger water tanks as well. Do we have to unlock them? Yes, we do. And it takes uh, what is it? Thirty planks and twenty gears. Pretty pricey. Uh, how many points was it though? 120. Okay, so that's fine. And I think in the future we could place them maybe one in the middle and then a couple next to it. Something like so. Anyway, seems they've done a few links in here, so let's do a few more. And we'll slowly start expanding out. I think what we'll also do here, because we do want to bring those stairs higher. So... Please don't plant any more trees here. Maybe in here as well. Yeah, once they got them down, that's that's it. And uh, beavers wise, are we producing some more? We are. Food, potatoes still going down. Okay, so I think it's also time to turn all this land into potatoes. So once you're done, potatoes. Yep. One more. And we'll cover this whole area in potatoes. Well, maybe not the whole, but definitely a few more. I mean, another thing we can do... Oh, we don't have the beehive. So that was only for folktales. Okay, well, that's a shame. But it's good to know. We do have this massive forest here. So that's uh, essentially like... Um, yeah, for the rainy... Well, sorry, no. Yeah, for the rainy days. When we um, are starting to go down on lumber. Let's see, we'll connect you... We have no use for them anymore. And I don't think we need someone in there because we've got some free power. And you only require... What is it? 100. I don't think... Oh, no, we do. Yeah, we could use two of those. Lumber mills working. So that's good. And then gear shops as well. So what I'll do... Let's connect them up with the roads. Interesting how only one of those water wheels is, is spinning, but not the other one. That is very interesting indeed. Are we blinking, bringing in some logs? Yes, we are making some planks now. Wonderful. Okay, so we've got 22 beavers, 6 children. With, uh, what is it, 5 pods. Could do more. And we shall, after we put in a couple more potatoes here. That's two. Oh, we can only do one in that corner, so that's fine. And we'll unpause you. The drought has ended. And we barely went down. Okay, that is that is good. Makes us feel a little bit more confident, but... Uh, let's not get overconfident. We still need to keep progressing all that a little bit higher. How far are you? Just a little bit more. I would also like to get some more builders in. I do want to start constructing things a little bit quicker. Okay, make some more blanks. Our staffing demand is, is going going up, so... Wait, are you going to plant? No. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. 
Look at all this power coming in now. We're producing 360. Only 220 is required. So what we can also do, since it only requires logs and we have a lot of them, let's put in another water wheel. Oh yeah, the planks are disappearing into the care shops. Gotcha. I was thinking, yeah, I was, I was a little curious. Like, Whoa, well, we're making planks, but how come they're just disappearing straight away? But they're going into these care shops, so that is that is all good. We've got three unemployed beavers. What are we going to do with you guys? Another lumberjack. Farming. Could potentially be the next top thing. Let's um, get rid of you. What's the reach? That is a very beautiful reach over there. So we'll have you built. These levees are done. So it's a bit of micro. It's it's not the most most fun, to be honest, to be doing. But it's fine. I just try and remember to check in every now and then. Since we're building it from both sides, it, it should be fairly, fairly okay. Uh, you are focusing potatoes. You are pretty much... Well, whatever is closest, I suppose. Now, gear shops. We got one running. A few gears in already. I think what would be smarter is to build this up as high as we want it. But that means we're going to have to... Hmm. Wait, so if that is three more... That means this is two more. So one up here. Oh, so this height... Okay, we might just be fine then. Yeah, two... Let's just check. One in here. And where should we bring it in? I suppose from here. So if you want one more... This comes here. And yeah, that looks like a good spot. So that's gonna be the height, right? Roughly, yeah. Looks pretty good. To me, at least. This also means we are going to have to give our beavers a little bit more access. So they'll go up from here. And there. Okay. So they can start putting in those levees. It also means we need to access this side. So... Where are we going to bring maybe from this corner here? Yeah, let's uh, let's use this corner. Let's see the height. Oh, it's a little difficult to see, but I think it's just above. So, we'll put you in in these locations first. We'll put in a few stairs and bring the road as well. That's going to be necessary. Let's have a quick look what's happening here. Everyone's still alive. Everyone's feeling good. Water reserves, we are A-OK. -okay, and the levees are coming along nicely. So the trickiest part will be to redo this section here. But um, I think we should be fine. And the last gear shop is now finally in as well. Do need more beavers working in them. But that's OK. That's why we have six breeding pods now fully operational. And I will want to increase them, probably double it up and just mess around with, uh, you know, pausing and unpausing every now and then. And here's our next route. The alarm has kicked off. And yeah, we are... Uh, uh, let's uh, let's see how long is this one going to be. We just need one more road to connect these stairs up. And can you do that as well? Perfect. Uh, next step, more builders. Since our construction projects are starting to become more bigger and bigger slowly, we are going to need some more people working in the builder's hut. And that is going to be, what is it, 100 points. That's actually not bad at all. It requires a few blanks, but um, maybe we could just have one here. Again, it just requires wood and lo um, sorry, logs and blanks. So even if this isn't going to be the uh, the final spot for the builders out, it's uh, we can just rebuild it. It is absolutely okay, and that's going up quite nicely. I know it's probably not the nicest look, uh, but I just want to make sure that we ensure our beaver colony is gonna 
survive in the future. So we're, yeah, just future proofing ourselves. Let's put it that way. Now, they are building up those levees here. So we're also going to need them. Let's see, a road in here. And that should not flood this area. Okay, okay. I'd hate to make another mistake like we did over here. So before we complete anything, let's just make sure that everything around is done first before we do... Yeah, the um, dams are going to be the last thing we'll do. These are coming along very nicely. Oh, and they've actually even built a, one of them over here. Do you know what? Why don't you do the ladder first so they can get a little bit higher? I wonder how much further... Yeah, they should, they should get to... Maybe even these ones. I guess we'll see. And to build this as well. My highest priority? No, that's okay. Okay, let's check the reach again. Here. And once we have this complete... Ah, where'd you go? Wait, let's check the food. Oh, potatoes going down. We are gonna need more potatoes, don't we? Um, you know what? Fine. We're gonna mix them up a little bit. Didn't want to do it, but... Potatoes in here now. Berries are also very low. So, one inventor. Let's switch you out. I do want to have someone in, at this station here. And the next step really is to gonna, um, gonna go into nutrition 3, which gives us longer life for the beavers, plus 20%, which is not bad at all. So we are gonna need some wheat, and uh, my plan is probably to have it in this section here. But before we do that, I think... I don't want to just remove this uh, forest in there. I would also like to ensure that we have equally sizable forest on this side, which, you know, this is pretty good. And might just be enough, to be honest, but... Uh, I just want to, for some reason, I, wanna, I really want to fill this bond. The drought has started. We've got 13 days, so that's uh, two more in, than in the previous drought. But uh, it is going to be the end of this episode. So we'll see how the, how the rest of the reservoir and our future plans go in the, in the next one. So thank you very much for joining and I'll see you again in the next one.